This is Matt Dukes Jordan. I'm a writer and I've written a few books on lowbrow art. Uh, Nick Tochus, in the book called The Last Opium Den, wrote that when anything is museum worthy, surely it's dead. And the question is what's alive? What's dead? Lowbrow art. That's what I'm going to ask in this short video. Because now, guys like Robert Williams, their art is being shown in prestigious museums in New York City like the Whitney Museum. Williams was in the Whitney Biennial, which is pretty much uh, establishing any artist in the show as major American artists. So the guy that started out doing art that looks like this, uh, now he's enshrined in a golden box called a museum. Wow, 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 wow. Carlo McCormick, an excellent writer, wrote that he remains the last hope many of us have that spirit and vision will win out over the current pedigree lot of academic thoroughbreds. Robert Williams was an underground cartoonist was the Zap group of people that did uh, Zap comics. Robert Crumb and those guys. He was hanging out with uh, S. Clay Wilson and and uh, he was intrigued by the work and loved the work of Basil Wolverton. Basil Wolverton. Then he decided to put that underground art right on to canvas and he began doing these amazing paintings in the late 70s and basically started the entire lowbrow art movement almost single-handedly. He was influenced by uh, the punk scene and given some energy from that. And so he used uh, subcultural lowbrow sources for his pop art and he became famous and rich and uh, in, got in museums. So is that, is that when art dies, is when it's encapsulated in museums and galleries and it's overly uh, contained and sanitized and uh, made commercial and commercialized, commodified and packaged and sold to people? Uh, Shafrazi was interesting. He went in and sprayed on the Guernica painting, Kill Lies All, and uh, he did it in protest. He was protesting the Vietnam War by drawing attention to Guernica. And he said, I wanted to bring the art absolutely up to date to retrieve it from art history and give it life. And that's, uh, you know, that's what, that's what uh, you know, he wanted to do by painting on it, Kill Lies All. He was protesting the Vietnam War, but he also was protesting against museums and saying that art had it was dead he wanted to he said i wanted to retrieve it from art history and give it life it's alive and he said uh, i tried to trespass beyond the invisible barrier that no one is allowed to cross i wanted to dwell within the act of the painting's creation get involved with the making of the art the work rather put my hand within it and uh, by that act encourage the individual viewer to challenge it, deal with it, and thus see it in its dynamic raw state as it was being made, not as a piece of history. Robert Williams' work is humorous, satirical, and I would call it carnivalesque. The Russian critic Mikhail Bakhtin uh, coined the term the carnivalesque and by that he means a reversal of the uh, consensus reality, flipping things and seeing them upside down in a tricksterish sort of way, carnivalesque way. 
And I would tend to uh, argue that uh, the reversals, the mockery, the exaggeration, the burlesquing, the questioning of the givens in the society and in the culture uh, are liberating. There's a uh, value to doing this. Liberates energies, liberates thinking, ideas, and uh, frees us. Even if it's in a museum or you know a gallery or has been commodified into t-shirts and tennis shoes, uh, his ideas, his creation, his uh, burlesquing, his carnivalesque is powerful and will endure. And actually, uh, museums may help preserve William's work, and that's great, they're wonderful, but they also can tend to stultify, contextualize, and limit art. Museums can, uh, in, in essence, support the conventional reality, the consensus reality. They support, and they can support an elitist culture. They tell the story of art that the elite wants uh, told, so they can be limiting. And so we need art by Robert Williams and artists like him and the lowbrow and top surrealists and contemporary art world who question the established reality, established truths and uh, ideas to challenge, subvert, satirize, and encourage us to think in new ways and imagine alternative realities and scenarios. <laughs>